Hello everyone, and welcome to Dynamics 365 Portals Tips from Engineered Code. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number six, partner registration. The partner portal is all about letting an organization's partners create and manage their opportunities. In this tip, we'll go through how a partner can register for an account through the portal. There is a web page called Become a Partner in the Partner Program area of the Partner Portal that contains a button to begin the registration process. To register as a partner, a user must first log in, which typically means they must register for an account. If, when you click on the button, you are not already logged in, you will be redirected to the sign in page, where you have the option to register a new portal account. Depending on the authentication options configured, this may involve using a local account or an external identity. Once you've logged in, you can navigate to the Register to be a Partner page. This page contains a registration form, which is implemented using an entity form, which means the fields that appear here are configurable. Once submitted, a real-time workflow creates an account record in Dynamics 365 and attaches it to the user's contact record. The application, which is managed by a field on the contact record, must be approved in Dynamics 365 before the user is given full partner access. The Partner Channel Recruitment Dashboard contains a list of the submitted applications. From there, a Dynamics 365 user can run an Approved Partner Application Workflow or a Reject Partner Application Workflow, which updates the status field on the contact record. If approved, the Partner Anniversary Date is set on that contact, the contact is assigned the Partner Admin Web Role, and the classification on the account is set to Partner. The user can now access the full functionality of the Partner Portal. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Dynamics 365 Portals tip number 6 from Engineered Code on partner registration useful.